Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this cleaning motivation video, it's going to be a tad different. This is a beauty edition and by that I mean you're going to see me clean makeup brushes, eyelashes, my entire makeup little corner that I have in my dining room and just pick up beauty items and do that stuff. First we're starting off by cleaning sponges and the brushes and I use this soap from Away Studio which you can find on shopmistay.com and it works fantastic at getting the makeup out. The soap smells amazing as well and you want to know the best part? The soap is only $1.55 and if you can catch it on sale you can get it even cheaper. They have 11% off sales I feel like all the time now. So I did speed this up quite a bit because I'm just doing a lot of scrubbing and squeezing out water but this is your daily reminder or just this is just a reminder that you need to wash your makeup brushes and sponges keep those clean because now I'm switching over the first soap I was using was a sponge soap now I'm switching over to the brush soap and if you do not clean your makeup brushes you could potentially get a really nasty infection in your eye and you need to be careful um my one of my best friends she got an infection because she didn't clean her eye brushes and her eye swelled completely shut i'm not being mean when i say this but it literally looked like something out of a, a horror movie um and it was scary and luckily she recovered from that with no damage or anything like that to her eyes but wash your makeup brushes okay y'all wash them Plus, uh, your face brushes, they can cause excess backup in your pores. All kinds of nasty things for your skin, y'all. Wash your brushes. So, I take all my dirty brushes that I've been using and I wash them. Even a couple I wash that I hadn't been using. And then I will let them dry. And you'll see in a minute how I will let them dry. And this is simple. It does take time out of the day <laughs> and it is time consuming I'm not gonna lie but this is very very important and my brush soap looks weird because it's broken and I just love that they come in these metal tins so all the broken pieces are just hanging out in the metal tins so you saw me do sponges face brushes and now we're moving on to eye brushes and I wash so many more brushes than this I stood in here I know at least an hour or more than an hour because I have to stop in between. You're not seeing all the pauses and stops because, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom and wife. So, I have lots of other things to do besides just stand around and wash brushes. But, I just done this periodically through the day. <laughs> and when I did get to uh, stand for a long time, I know I stood there probably for an hour. Anyways, just straight washing brushes when John took Connor out to get a slushy. Here's all of the brushes and sponges that I cleaned on this day. I have them laid flat so you can see exactly how many I used and now I just kind of put them back on the makeup table and I have my face brushes done like this tilted down so the water will drain out the bristles and not go back into the ferrule. I've never had issues with my eye brushes drying like that so I'm just leaving them. And I'm just kind of showing you how messy my makeup table is because sometimes it becomes a catch-all. And before I can get in to clean that, I had to stop, make a homemade pizza for dinner, and doesn't it look delicious? Next up, I'm going to do my mirror, and this is my favorite glass cleaner, the Sprayway. So I'm going to clean my mirror off, and did, when, wouldn't you know that um the very next day it had fingerprints all over it can you guess whose fingerprints they were <laughs> they were connor's looking at his loose tooth <laughs> but i am putting all of my nail care items back in their box and this little box lives on top of one of my nail polish trays i'm putting more nail art items back and nail polishes back. I just thought this would be a fun little video to share some cleaning motivation on 
like beauty makeup kind of edition. I thought some of you would probably really enjoy this. I'm taking, once I put some more items back, I'm just going to take the good and clean disinfectant wipes. I'm going to wipe down the table. It really needed to be wiped down. It is a little bit dusty. But hey, we're doing it today. We're getting it done today. And I don't take my silicone mats off because underneath them, they're never dirty. Like, they can't really get anything underneath them except for the sides. And usually there's like some trapped eyeshadow dust or something. So I just wipe down the silicone mats. Then you can see I use those for nail art and just nail stuff in general. So I'm going to continue to wipe down, moving things as I go until I get the entire table wiped down. Off camera, I did wipe down my acrylic items. And that you see there in the side and then I'm gonna wipe down my cups bases things <laughs> my brush odors I don't know whatever you want to call them I wipe all of those down not on camera but I did wipe them all down and then I will slowly just kind of piece the desk back together now I'm taking all the sponges out of this container and I'm gonna wipe this container down too and this container actually catches makeup sometimes on the side of it because I'll put my used sponges back in there and you'll see it looks really cloudy from like foundation and stuff so it really really needed the wipe down so I just put everything back in there. The sponges I use most, I left those closest to the top. And those interchangeable brush heads. And then next up, we're going to move along to cleaning some eyelashes. This is an easy process if you want to reuse your lashes multiple times. So I thought that I would share this. I don't think I have ever shared this on my channel. I don't think, anyways. So I did decide to lay a... Um, washcloth down or makeup rag makeup towel whatever you want to call it but I use it at my makeup table put the products on top of because the silicone mat will bubble up so here you can already see on the wipe the mascara is coming off of the lashes so I'm just gently rubbing my finger across his lashes and the lash band just slowly trying to get that lash glue to lift and all the mascara off my lashes so I'm taking the Garnet Micellar Water, the blue one, that you have to shake up, and I'm taking that on a cotton ball, and letting that sit on the lashes for a little bit, and then gently going over the lash, and then I'm going to go in with the same Micellar Water on a Q-tip, and then go over the lashes as well. I'm just going to continue to work the makeup remover and the lashes to get to the point where we can peel the glue off in a couple little strips. So once all the mascara is off, you can see that I'm going to go in very easily, very, very easily and tear the glue off of them. If I'm not careful, I will rip the lash and it's happened multiple times. I take a mascara wand and I just brush it through the clean lash and the lashes are like new again the plastic is a little bit you know got mascara and stuff on it but the lash itself is clean so that's how i clean my lashes and i was going to do a bunch of them on camera but it was taking a lot of time <clears throat> to be honest so i did do all the lashes and here's the casualty if you're not careful you will tear them up and of course I did one of my favorite pairs and it wouldn't be a cleaning motivation video without seeing a daily dose of the kitties right look how pretty they are marshmallow and Hershey there was this beautiful turtle colors of this turtle now this is sped up too she's not actually going that fast it's a female so look how beautiful she is I absolutely love turtles I love turtles so much and that night there was a frog in the backyard and he was pretty big he was a big old frog i love sharing the wildlife the nature that's around me i thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you found some motivation in this beauty edition stay tuned for more videos like this don't forget to check the description box as well as the cards for additional links and stay tuned for more videos like this